This is your A-Pass update for June 23rd. We've got five updates for you this week. Number one, on June 16th, APAS sent a letter to Minister Duclo, the Federal Minister of Health, to let him know that APAS is against the federal government's proposal to require warning labels on ground meat products. A link to that letter is included in the video description below. Number two, also on June 16th, the provincial government announced supplemental PDAP relief to help producers that experience significant losses as a result of storms in the spring. The new support will help those with more than $2 million in gross revenues who otherwise meet the definition of a small business and will be available to producers who were affected by disasters that occurred in April 2022. The provincial government's press release on this announcement is available through a link in the video description below. Number three, the Swift Current Research and Development Center is hosting a field tour from 8 o'clock in the morning until 12.30 p.m. on Tuesday, July 12th, and they're inviting people to come out for it. Details on the tour, as well as information on how to register, is available through a link in the video description below. Number four, just a reminder of a few important crop insurance deadlines that are coming up over the next week. June 25th is a deadline to submit seeded acreage reports on all crops. June 30th is the deadline to submit gopher damage claims on green feed. And June 30th is also the deadline for agri-stability applications. Saskatchewan Crop Insurance has a good calendar that lists their various deadlines, so a link to that calendar is included in the video description below. And number five, if you've got an RM Council meeting coming up and you'd like APAS update materials or if you'd like APAS staff or a director to come to the meeting with you, let me know and we'll get it set up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.